Hello farmers, here we are sitting in our dirty Volvo at the dealer shop. Got the John Deere down here as well. Uh, I did bring a load of wood. We had the Volvo and the uh, logging trailer up at the forestry area. So well, I'm up here, I'm making a trip down. So I cut down four trees, five trees, whatever it is. So we brought a load of wood down, which, you know, boosts up our money just a little bit. Uh, we got the flatbed back here, and I kind of forgot when we first got the flatbed, we had the dolly. We don't need the dolly anymore. No, we don't. So, yeah, we need to sell that. Thank you. A little bit extra cash. But now we're going to spend some. So the reason why the John Deere is down here and the Volvo is down here. Uh, let's go to forestry. And we're buying the planter. Wait, one pieces. What? Oh, I thought man I had a I saw I saw this I had one in the garage when I clicked this and I saw one pieces right away. I thought like wait, I got that? No, this is the one. If we don't have none in the garage, I'm like Oh, that'd be great if I got one. But we're gonna buy this thing today. It's not that expensive. And we'll make our money back on it. So we'll hook this up right away just to get it out of the cell area. Park that right there and then we'll go, uh, now I gotta remember where, I think it's in pallets. Here we go. Uh, 20 trees a piece. So we'll buy one, two, three, Four. Yeah, why not make it five? Make it an even hundred trees, right? One, two, three, four, five, there we go. And this is what the Volvo is good for. Well, the Volvo is good for a lot of things. Uh, square bales, no it's not square bales, not round bales. Pallets. Uh, take off those. Oh, I gotta turn on the working position. There we go. Auto load for the win. Alright. Now, we'll get this to follow the Volvo. Which didn't work too well on the way down here because obviously the Volvo can go a lot faster than the John Deere. Did I not? It did not uh, stick to follow me or not? Must be not. Didn't say it wasn't close enough. doesn't seem to be okay, let me uh, restart the engine here maybe something going on here it worked on the way down somewhat all right well the Volvo will follow the John Deere apparently See how this works all the way up to forestry area. I'll meet you up at the forestry area because this may take me a second or two to get up there. Well, that worked flawlessly. No traffic stopped the Volvo behind us. The Volvo made nice turns with us. You gotta love it. Bring it right over to the shed here. Uh, is it shift F? There we go. I actually do remember some of the keys to work this thing. 
Uh, let's actually bring the Volvo over here. This may not be the best area to put him, but let's see if we can. Uh, let's see here. Work position. Unload center. Unload to the right, which is what I want to do. Perfect. Swing this sucker around. There we go. I was trying to turn the lights off. I didn't know those uh, were like daytime running lights that were on that thing. Alright, let's see if I can remember how to do this. I may have to pop up the help menu because does it automatically load or do I need to press R? Is it R for load? It is R for load. I do remember some stuff. So at $40 a pallet, so, no, was it, wait, is it $20 a pallet or is it $40 a pallet? $40 a pallet, we bought five, so we spent 200 bucks. Five full-grown trees will bring you, uh, if we go back here to the menu, sold wood, right around 33 grand, give or take. So that is why we need to start planting them now, because in seasons, it takes a while. I've never done seasons and grown trees fully. I planted some trees in seasons and then quit playing the map after a while. So never played five full seasons after planting them. So that's why we're going to do it right away. Well, it's not right away. It's our second season. But to get our money back. And I probably have a plan maybe to strip this forestry down right now. Because I may try to get enough money to buy the grass field down by the moo cows. And by doing a lot of forestry work up here, we probably could get up to that $700,000 to do so. But today, need to plant 100 trees. Which may take us a little bit a while, but nothing I want to have you sit and watch me do fully. And hopefully by the end of this episode, we will check to see some prices on some wool. Because today should be the best price for wool. I don't want to uh, push it too much. Actually, let's just dig right into it. Let's find out here. That's the wrong way. There we go. Right now it's at 9100 which is a pretty good price. If we could get a great demand, oh yeah, we could see like eleven to twelve thousand dollars on a great demand. So I'll have to see. Or I'm playing a little bit of a gambling game with the sheep wool prices, but you know, we will have that's per a thousand liters, and I think we'll have somewhere close to. Let's see, we're going to have like set almost fourteen thousand liters of wool to sell. So five pallets to plant of saplings. To me it would be kind of fun to watch these trees grow because like I said I never really, I planted them and never really gone back in a full season to see how the trees grow. But actually this isn't going to take us that long because there's, there's already one pallet. A little more get our monies back on this if these three if we play long enough. Which I think we should be able to. We should get our monies back and then some for the planter and for the trees. I realize I could have rented the planter, but really, why not for as cheap as it is, buy it and keep it for a while? You can always repair it. 
and sell it and get your monies back. Leasing it, you might lose your money on it. It's always fine for that first hour, but it's, you know, if you start going over the hour rates, and then, yeah. I'm already sort of the part of just buy it and you can always resell it later. So I'm going to keep on planting these and I'll bring you back in a little bit so you see how we're doing and seeing what they look like. The last planter box to plant so you can see what basically what 100 trees will look like as I pan around. So I probably could have bought maybe like a couple more planters. But we'll leave the uh, the machinery up here other than the John Deere. We'll leave the planter up here because that's where we're going to get all of our trees from. And uh, I could always just, you know, go down with a Volvo and just buy a whole bunch of planters at $40 a pop. Yeah, it'll take a while to get our money back, but that's going to be the fun part of it. Watch the trees grow. It's not going to be like in three days they're at full, full grown. Yeah, in seasons, uh, if someone can correct me, I do believe it's going to take five years to get fully grown. And there's plenty more trees here to, to log. In the meantime, I can probably strip it all down within... A few days playing at one time speed but we'll just take the trees as we need some extra cash but the farm is starting to get to the point now to where we will start making more money than we need to spend we're almost getting to that point but part of me is starting to think now of strip this forestry down and buy that grass field for seven hundred thousand and that grass will be mainly used for the BGA and start selling some silage at the BGA. And we can take that liquid digestate that the BGA makes and bring it to the bioprocessing plant which will make more than enough fuel, seed, and artificial fertilizer. And I did find a placeable uh, a sell point for that. It's basically a universal sell point. It sells just about anything. one more planter to go and actually it isn't that bad space for a hundred trees right there so there's a hundred trees planted right there so hopefully in a couple seasons or a few seasons anyways actually I'll park this right in over here Drop that down. Drop that off. Uh, the John Deere can stay here just for a second. So that price is staying right there. Uh, what else? There was something else I wanted to check, but I can't quite remember at this point. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, uh, seeding is what I need to do at some point. Let me jump out of the John Deere. Because we're going to keep that there. Uh, this one right here. Still soybeans. Ground temperature needs to be 55. So actually it's not until like the first day of summer. So we're still a couple days away from that. That's what I do want to plant in those two fields that we got left. That's not too bad. And if we go here and I want to go down to wool... This should be a really good day to sell wool at some point, but I'm hoping for a great demand. But let's uh, bring the Volvo down as the rain hits. So I actually may skip through the rain as well, but I'll meet you back at the farm and who knows what time will be when we get back. But we'll be at the main farm when we do come back. So I'll see you in a second. Ah. 
and just on cue as I pull in <laughs> to the sheep and I was trying to see if I could turn this trail around there's a high demand for wool so ladies and gentlemen first of all let me turn the map off drum roll please what's the price gonna be <gasps> yes You play Farming Simulator enough, you realize that sometimes the gods do shine down on you. <laughs> and I was hoping, like, there hasn't been a great demand for wool at all, so hopefully sometime soon. And here we are. And I don't care if it's raining at this point. Alright, so the good news is it was a little difficult getting the truck in here. You can probably see the tire marks, the zigzagging I had to do. From I came down that road here. It was a little bare trying to get in there it might be easier coming in from that way I'm not quite sure but we made it in all right so uh, pallets yes work position yes now the question becomes of I got to get all these pallets on here and head on down to the spinnery We do thank the sheep greatly. No, that's the wrong way to change. Alright, I need to approach it a little bit better than what I'm doing. It's a little tight in here. Obviously, I could have got like a forklift and done it that way. But there we are. Thank you, sheep. This is going to be a great great income for the farm can I get out of here looks like we got out no problem I do like the challenge of trying to get this truck and trailer in the, these kind of tight spots but let's go make a nice nice profit I was going to try to do some math in my head but uh, yeah forget it I was not expecting a price that high. I was going to wait until after the rain, bring you back, and I said, well, whatever the wool's at, the wool's at, because the price will start going down on it. But that's one thing about the seasons mod. If once you play a full season, it'll give you a rough idea when the best prices are for certain things. And usually that's when they have great demand for them as well. So if we hold out for another year after this sale and we're going to get more sheep still uh, I haven't been in here much but I think this is where I need to go this is going to be a tight corner I better get out of have for this and we made it around all right yep there's a spinnery cell point must be out back yep there's a cell point Alright, and I kind of forgot the buttons. Turn the work position off. Unfold center is what we want to do. No, I had it on unfold center. I want to hit Y to start. Uh, no, it unloaded in the back. That was great. Let's try that again. Work position. First I was like, oh my god, where did all the wall go all right turn that off unfold center yes nope Arr. unload center yes there we go I made it so difficult 
So let's see, quick guess here, like 160 to 170 thousand off the top of my head. Probably not right, but you know what? It's going to be good. At least get us. It should get us halfway to what we need to buy that grass field. Maybe even more closer. And like I said, you know, I could start going and start selling some wood up from the forestry to get the money that way. I know some of you probably think about what about, you know, the seed drill and all that stuff you want to buy. Well, if you buy that grass field, mow the grass and bring it to the BGA and start selling silage, we'll get the money back from that field really quickly and then you can buy the seed drill and a new tractor just as easy. Yeah, so we're over 350, so we're halfway to the grass field, which is great. So I said 100, then I say 160, 170, 173, not bad. Been really nice if it hit 200,000, but you know, you can't have it all. And with the rain, our Volvo's getting cleaned. Okay, so the question is, what do I want to do with this trailer? I probably want to bring the trailer back up to the farm. So when we cut the grass field that we do own soon, I can pick up the bales of straw, or excuse me, it's going to be hay, bales of hay and bring them back down to the farm down here. So let's head back up to the farm, we'll park this trailer. Need to get back in cab here. This narrow road can be kind of tricky when you're driving a truck and trailer because the trailer always goes off and of course my driving skills with the keyboard is awesome. I do want to try using the steering wheel in farming sim. Uh, I just know some people do have an issue with the steering wheel like if they minimize out the game for a second and go back in their steering wheel doesn't work. They have to restart the game. And right now I can't even use a steering wheel if I wanted to because I torque my knee pretty bad. <laughs> so I can't use my leg at all for anything. That's not what I want to do. Uh, let's actually park it over here. Turn those off, turn that off. But actually, how many sheep do we have now if you're sleeping? Up to 81 sheep. Stats are looking good. The cows are still looking okay. The straw may be in a day or so. But yeah, we got to sell our wool today. And look at that money. 375. What are we doing on seed? Artificial fertilizer, not bad. So if we get back in here, I know I keep digging it out, but this is the field we're talking about right here. And 709,000. So basically another three, like 330, 340. We can buy this field. And that'd be a lot of grass to bring to the BGA. So the question is, do I want to... In between episodes, just start cutting down a lot of trees in order to afford this field. Or, or, cut down enough, because we can take out a $300,000 loan, which might be easier at this point. And then we can cut this field, bring it to the BGA, and uh, sell that silage. And when we get the money from the silage, re, you know, pay off our loan that way. But once you get a big field like this, and, you know, I can mow this twice a year easily, sometimes three, just that that third time won't, you know, yield as much. Uh, and we keep bringing it to the BGA. And, of course, the BGA is going to, you know, we're going to get money from the silage, take the liquid digestate out of the tank, bring over to our bioprocessing plant way over yonder. That will produce fuel and fertilizer that we can use. We can sell the fuel. 
because we're not going to need that much fuel. So it's just more money by the time we get a field like this, and that means that we eventually can buy, start buying those fields as well. So I'll think about it in between episodes, so when you see the next episode, start of the next episode, you'll have a good idea of what my plan is. <laughs> my plans, right. But, uh, yeah, well, I guess I'll have to do some thinking about it as I'm, before I record the next episode. So I'll have to see, put my, put the wheels in motion. But, like always guys, I appreciate you watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you next time on the Pacific Northwest. But until then, have a good one.